together now we're strong don't question it the truth will break your chains we have the key open your Hey my dolls, I'm Sheena Minferno and welcome back to my channel. A tiny part of every girl's heart is pink and Barbie and we all deserve to live that dream even if that's for a day. All my girlfriends are an inspiration for this look because howsoever we might be, we are Barbie till eternity. As usual, I prime my skin with Guerlain Le Or Primer. I use Makeup Forever Cover Stick Foundation for that porcelain studio finish. It is a full coverage foundation formulated specially for movie or camera makeup and I highly recommend. Next, I use the lightest shade in the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette to highlight my under eye, chin area, the center of my nose, center of my forehead and even my brow arc. Highlighting and shadowing are very personal and subjective, so feel free to highlight elsewhere if you wish. Proceed by baking the highlighted areas with RCMA No Color Powder for the poreless velvet effect. I prefer defining my brows in an arc, intensifying the color at the ends and giving it a more feathery appearance from where it begins by applying lighter pressure than usual and performing upward strokes. If you want to achieve generic Barbie brows, I advise going more round and less pronounced with the arc. To give the illusion of bigger, almost plum dollish eyes, I line my upper lid with black eyeliner along the natural curvature of the eye, totally avoiding the elongation into a wing, proceeding by creating fall lower lash line a few millimeters below the original. I go ahead by cutting out my crease by the fourth shade from left in the LA Girl Beauty Brick Nudes palette which is a beautiful, almost neutral transition shade. Intensify the crease further by applying the lightest pink shade out of the trio in the Inglot Rainbow Shadow Pants, going progressively with deeper shades. Contour your nose with the same shade trio. I'm pretty much maintaining my own nose shape, but you can obviously go thinner and pointier with your nose contour. 
It's all in your preference. To bring out the effect furthermore, pack in the lower lash with black. I add some pop by adding mixed cosmic metal slip cream below the crease and blending it well. A pop of cream color shadow, the first from the left in the LA Girl palette, is what I tuck in alongside deeper tones to open up the eye even more. Pop in some fall lashes along the lower line that you created. I do have eyelash extensions, but if you do not support one, I highly encourage you to pop some thick and long upper lashes and get hold of some circle lenses that I'm wearing already in the color you fancy. If you wish to keep it Barbie original, definitely go for blue lenses. Now it's time to incorporate some nature. You will need a bunch of products that I have all showed in the video and mentioned in the description box below. You have to consider that this is basically painting and really how difficult it is to paint a branch with some flora. We all have done that in our childhood, right? If you start thinking it as cosmetic art on forehead, the placebo will scare you even before you attempt. So just take it slow, be rustic, more organic with your strokes, because that is how nature is. Perfection makes no sense in creating nature. Every branch is unique and different. <laughs> Create the tip of the nose with the same Inglot Rainbow Trio. Highlight with your choice of shimmer shade from the Beauty Brick palette. As for me, I'm using third from the left. I add some baby pink Burj Khal loose glitter on the tip and even though it's a small amount, it's going to glow with glory in different lights. Highlight with the same shimmer shade the inner corner of your eyes and call it a day. The blush is one of the most important aspect of the look and I use a superbly shimmery and pink blush from Physicians Formula on the apples of my cheeks, bestowing the look with the cuteness it so needs. Next I tap in some duo chrome pink sequins that you can find in any professional nail art supply store. There is absolutely no need of any glue. The material of the sequins has the capacity to stick to your makeup with the help of natural oils and heat you produce. For the lips, I use a very deep purple. It totally looks slay with the lip color, but if you want to go a step further like me, top it up with the diamond crusher in Unicorn that you'll see later in the video, which is basically an incredibly glittery matte liquid lip formulation. I do fashion a blush wig and oh, the crown is so my jam. You can totally wear the look with or without them. Any way you want, because it's makeup. Wear it like you want it. Master the technique, not the rules. Take the inspiration to create your own. Unraised. 